it wasn't her. It wasn't this light skinned, thick baddie that I thought it was. Alright, bruh. Let me get straight into it. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Boom. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden, aka Prince, coming to you with another video, and I got some heat for y'all. Um, you guys show my last three videos so much love. We're growing at a rapid rate right now. We gained about 81 or 82 subs in the last week, and I appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, so hit the subscribe button. We're dropping bangers all the time. Um, and if you're coming back, like the video. We we here. Another thing. One point I want to bring up to you guys is school is about to start, so my upload schedule is going to be kind of rocky, but I am going to try to upload at least two, two to three videos every week. Um, Another thing is, I asked you guys in my last video what you guys want to be called, like you know how Pretty Boy Fredo has SSA, Logan has the Logan, what you guys want to be called, Um, it's going to be lit. Other than that, let's get straight into it. now. I, if you guys remember, I told you guys, my catfish story wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as you think. It is not what it seems. It is not what it seems. Now, to rewind, I, I got to the front door. And when they opened the door, bro, it was her mom, her brother, and her pops, bro. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And the first thing her pop said to me was, who are you, son? And I just looked at him and I froze up for a couple seconds. Like, I froze up for like five seconds, bro. And I looked at him and I said, This is Patrick! <laughs> I'm your daughter's friend. We, we have the same class together. And I was trying to figure out what the homework was. Bro, mind you, it was summertime. <laughs> it was summertime. It was summertime. So I don't know how he felt for that. Um, what I found out was that she had summer school. And in summer school, they give you homework. Boom. They start walking by and they're like, oh, she's not home and stuff like that. And how, what homework did you guys have? <laughs> Bro, I didn't even know what homework we had. I was like, oh, we had to add A plus B that equals Y. What? And he just walked away. I guess he believed me. He told me that she wasn't there, so I just left. I start walking down the block. And as soon as I start walking down the block, I'm thinking like, yo, I'm never gonna meet this girl. Like, she really, she's, she's not the one for me, obviously. <laughs> All these things I'm going through. As I'm walking down the block and I'm about to head home, I just got a text from her. And she's like, come. And after my parents left, and we can, re we can really sit down and talk now. And when she told me that, around, and I started you saying bolting down to her house, bro. And then I reached her door, bro, and she opened the door. When she opened the door, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. It wasn't this light-skinned, thick baddie that I thought. It wasn't her. But it was a baddie. It was a baddie. You could see she had Jordans on and stuff like that. She was fly. She had a little style. I liked her style. She was rocking the messy bun. She looked good. She looked fire. She was fuego. You feel me? So, um... I was, I, you know, like when you're mad, but you're not really mad, so you have to pretend like you're mad. Oh, oh, oh why did you did this to me? You hurt my feelings. You lied to me. I can't trust you. And she just sitting there, and it did not mean for it, ha for it to happen like this. And she just, she just stopped. She was like, I'm, I'm not doing this with you. If you can't accept me for who I am, I'm going to just leave. And I was like, all right, all right, then go. She said, okay. And she was, she was about to slam the door. I said, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't let this one go, bro. I could not let this. Remember, I told you I did not care that she wasn't the person that I thought because she was still fire, bro. I was still getting some heat, bro. So I just went along with it. And we we went into her house, and her house was nasty, bro. That's what she wanted to go to the park. And we went to the park, and we were just kicking it. Like, she was telling me, she was, like, really, like, opening up to me. She was telling me everything about her and stuff like that. 
but I couldn't really trust it because I didn't really know like what else she lied to me about, you feel me? So we just kept talking. And I ended up like really liking this girl. The way we were in the park and she just hit me with that bomb so that she was moving away. And I was really feeling this girl. Like this was what like one of the first girls that I was actually planning to take serious, you feel me? So she told me she was moving away and she said that she had two weeks left. And that's the only reason why she agreed to see me. Obviously, I was kind of hurt, but I really didn't care because I was still young. I would, like, love didn't really hit me or nothing like that. But I knew that I liked her. You feel me? So we just kicked it for the next few days. She actually played basketball. She was actually nice, but not better than me, obviously. But she put, actually played basketball, and we were playing basketball and stuff like that. I went to her house a couple times, and she moved away. Never spoke to her again. Never heard from her again. Now I like that. And I got a new girl. <laughs> but I told you, my catfish story wasn't that bad. Um, if you guys want to hear any more story times, let me know. I'll try to get that fire out for you guys. And of course, it's your boy Jaden. And I'm out. I was down for a minute, now I'm back up. Nigga hating, get a bad like school lunch. Shorty hit my line, sound I don't do much. 12 o'clock, midnight, no, I can't clutch. Pull up to the party, get your